Joey, how can you read this? It doesn't have any pictures. about a girl named Elizabeth and she's in high school and she gets a job at some a circulating repository the place where people can come check out objects just like you would check out books at the library but objects from a lamp to a pair of shoes to a necklace some of the things are really cheap and some of the things are really valuable like Marie Antoinette's wig or um, Abraham Lincoln's hat the catch of the story um, of the book The Grim Legacy is that there's a room called the Grim Room. After the Brothers Grimm. Mm -hmm. And inside it are many um, magical objects. And she gets Dark to and, mm -hmm. and she gets to start adventures happen. I read this book because Emma had got it from the library and she said it was really good even though it's for a younger age group. And I'm like, oh well Corey, read it, read it. I was like, okay, I'll read it. And it was good. It started out, it really keeps you hooked and like, I think it's neat how they put in all the grim stuff and really obscure fairy tales so it got us like, oh we need to reread a bunch of grim fairy tales. So that was neat. So Elizabeth is this girl and she's new in her school. I kind of liked her. Yeah. <sighs> I kind of liked the romance. Yeah, I was but... like, she's going to get together with this guy, and Emma was like, no, she's not. Emma was right. <laughs> Boom. What I didn't like is they added this whole other twist where some of the a couple of the characters were able to like use magic. It just didn't make sense. There was just so much packed into one story. It was just like, uh. At the end, there were some uh, stuff that didn't make sense in the plot, like oh. huge things. You remember that part? There was this part where there's a lady who works at the library and she's supposedly like some el under the bad guy's control but it doesn't, the time period that she was under the bad, guy con bad guy's control doesn't match up with the time that the bad yeah, stuff happened. Doesn't. So it just like, it's like, okay that didn't really make sense. When two of the main characters got like saved, there was something that didn't, that wouldn't really happen. And, like it was like, good story, good story, and then kind of like fizzle out. Yeah. yeah. Age group probably... 10 to 16. Yes. From 1 to 10, how many stars do you think? I'd that probably get true. it, give it like a 6. I'd probably give it a 5. 6 stars of family friendliness. <laughs> family friendliness. <laughs> of goodness, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Read it. Do a fake voice? What are you talking I about? I don't do a fake voice. I don't do a fake voice. I'm not talking low. My voice is <laughs> awful high. My voice is awful high though. <laughs> <laughs>